The Jack Benny Program, presented by Lucky Strike. Be happy, go lucky, be happy, go lucky, strike, be happy, go lucky, go lucky, strike, be happy, go lucky strike today. Now when I have a gift to give, I know just what to send. The cigarette that mild and rich, that happy, lucky blend. Sailors are a fickle lot with gals around the sea, but they are true to Lucky Strike cause LSMFB. Be happy, go lucky, be happy, go lucky strike, be happy, go lucky, go lucky strike, be happy, go lucky, be happy, go lucky strike today. Yes, light up a lucky and enjoy the happy blending of perfect mildness and rich taste in one great cigarette, Lucky Strike. You see, only fine tobacco gives you both perfect mildness and rich taste. And LSMFT, Lucky Strike means fine tobacco. So next time, try a carton of Lucky Strike and be happy, go lucky. Be happy, go lucky, be happy, go lucky strike, be happy, go lucky, go lucky strike today. Be happy, go lucky, be happy, go lucky. The Lucky Strike program starring Jack with Mary Livingston, Phil Harris, Rochester, Dennis Day, the Sportsman Quartet, and yours truly, Don Wilson. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, yesterday USC and UCLA met in their annual football classic. So let's go out to Jack Benny's house a few hours before the game. Uh, we better hurry, Jack, or we'll miss the kickoff. Yeah, let's go already. Uh, just a minute. I want to copy the lineups out of the paper. Here's a pencil, boss. Thanks. But, Jack, you can buy a program when you get to the Coliseum. Why do that when the lineups are right here in the paper? Now, let's see. Well, it's silly to copy it. Why don't you just cut them out? Because we have to put the paper back on the Coleman's porch. <laughs> yeah. Now, let's see. Here's UCLA's lineup. Moomaw, Narleski, Flynn, Strohshine, Livingston. Livingston? Mary. That's Cliff Livingston. Oh. I, th <laughs> I thought it was your sister, babe. Uh, no, no, Jack. Babe is with the Green Bay Packers. <laughs> oh, yes, I forgot. <laughs> Livingston, Mitchell, Cogswell. I used to play football when I was in high school. Really, Dennis? What position did you play? Bent over like the rest of them. <laughs> Livingston, Mitchell, Cogswell. Gee, I'll never forget our big game. I was the quarterback, and there was just a few seconds to play. The score was tied, and we had the ball on their one-yard line. It was the first down, so I called for the water boy. <laughs> What? While everybody else was drinking, I ran for a touchdown. <laughs> but, Dennis, that doesn't count. I know. I forgot the ball. <laughs> uh, but, Dennis, how could... Wait a minute, Mary. Wait a minute. I'll take it. Dennis, did you also play football in college? No. You're sure you didn't play college football? No. Why? Well, some years ago, in a Rose Bowl game... A player ran 80 yards in the wrong direction, and I thought it might have been you. Now, let's see. Well, that was my father. <laughs> well, at least I had it in the right family. Now, let's see. I've got the lineup copied. Rochester, don't forget to put the paper back on the Coleman's porch. Yes, sir. And did you make the sandwiches? Uh-huh, and I put your Ovaltine in a whiskey bottle like you told me to. <laughs> uh, Ovaltine in a whiskey bottle? When Mr. Bentley takes his three o'clock nap, he wants people to think he passed out. <laughs> Never mind. Did you pack my binoculars, Rochester? No, I thought you'd rather carry them. Here. Thanks. Jack, when did you buy those binoculars? When I got my television set, I used them for watching Faye Emerson. <laughs> <laughs> I stopped when she brought Skitch Henderson on. <laughs> Uh, hand me the basket, Rochester. Come in. Well, Mr. Kitzel. Hello, Mr. Bill. Oh, my, I 
just dropped by to return this roasting pan you loaned me for Thanksgiving. Oh, good, good. Did you have a nice Thanksgiving dinner, Mr. Kitzel? Oh, it was wonderful. Thanksgiving is the one day in the year that all my wife's relatives gather together, unfortunately, at my house. <laughs> Why, Mr. Kitzel, you sound a little sarcastic. Oh, not intentional. I oh. love having all our relatives for dinner, excepting my wife's brother. Is he a glutton? <laughs> a big appetite, huh? Oh, appetite. He eats like there's no tomorrow. <laughs> oh, oh, Mr. Kitzel, you're joking. Joking, he said. Mr. Benny. He sat down and had six portions of turkey, three helpings of cranberry sauce, eight portions of dressing. To the yams, he went back full time. Gravy, you could swim in it. And the rolls, Einstein couldn't count it. Gosh, I bet he didn't have room for dessert. That he had first. He wasn't taking any chances. <laughs> Oh. But mad I can't get at him because he and my wife happens to be twins. Twins? Well, uh, do they look alike? Fortunately for both of them, no. <laughs> oh, well, Mr. Kitzel, we're going to the football game. Would you like to join us? No, I'd love to, Mr. Benny, but I want to get home before my brother-in-law leaves. Why? He may get sick, and this I got to see. <laughs> Goodbye. Goodbye, Mr. Kitzel. <laughs> Oh, uh, what Mr. Kitzel goes through on Thanksgiving. Hey, Mr. Benny, why don't you invite us over for Thanksgiving dinner this year like you always do? Well, I intend to do, Dennis, but I had a little trouble with the butcher. Well, every time you go to buy something, you have trouble. Well, this time it wasn't my fault. Turkeys were so expensive that when I started to dicker with the butcher, he got mad, handed me an egg, and said, Here, take this home, sit on it, and hatch your own turkey. <laughs> Smart Alec Butcher. Turned out to be a duck. <laughs> 31 days yet <laughs> Well, come on, kid <laughs> Gee, I hadn't lived that Well, come on, kids Let's, let's leave for the game huh? Oh, I'm ready Oh, by the way, Mr. Benny Which team are you going to cheer for? Uh, UCLA Why? Well, I live in Beverly Hills near the college, so it's the neighborly thing for me to cheer for the UCLA team. And besides, he washes their jerseys. <laughs> yeah, those grass stains are murder. See, I hope UCLA wins. Well, I'm going to be cheering for USC. Who are you going to root for, Dennis? Notre Dame. <laughs> Dennis, Notre Dame isn't even playing. I know, but this year they need all the cheers they can get. <laughs> For a minute, I thought you were going to have a silly reason. Now, come on, let's go out and get in the car, guess. Say, Jack, those trees on your lawn sure look beautiful. Don't they, though? I say, Benita, where's the morning paper? Oh, my goodness. Is I... that Benny fellow Bonner? Dennis, I... cut that out! <laughs> What a kid. You know, Dennis, sometimes you're going to... Hey, Jackson, Jackson! Huh? Jack, it's Phil. Hi, Phil. Hiya, Livy. What are you doing over here at King Solomon's Mine? <laughs> Phil, not so loud. Remember, you're in Beverly Hills. Stop bragging about it. Some place is Beverly Hills. Why, what's the matter? I was driving down the street, stuck out my hand to make a left turn, and someone stole the olive out of my martini. <laughs> That's a shame, Phil. And after you took it sightseeing all the way from Encino. <laughs> hey, Phil, that's a beautiful car you're driving. Is it new? Yeah, brand new Cadillac. I bought it for Alice. Thought I'd surprise her. You? You bought a car for Alice? Yeah, them joint bank accounts are wonderful. <laughs> Phil, when Alice finds out I learn how to write my name, she'll kill me. <laughs> You know now. Yeah. You know how to write. Huh? Well, I can't believe it. Go ahead, Phil. Let me hear you spell your name. Okay. P H I L H A R I S. Phil, you left out an R. Oh, oh yes. H A R I S R. 
<laughs> Phil, Phil, my only regret is that I have but one band leader to give to NBC. <laughs> Say, Phil, we're going to the football game. Why don't you join us? I'd like to live, but I can't. Well, so long, kids. See you later. Goodbye, Bye, Phil. Oh, wait, kids. Don't forget to listen to me Monday night. I'm going to be on the Lux Radio Theater. Lux? L O X. That's Lux. Well, that's closer than I got with Harris. <laughs> yeah, closer, closer. Go so on. Well, let's go, kids. Is everything all ready, Rochester? Yes, sir. Come on, come on. Let's get in the car, everybody. Say, Jack, your car looks much nicer. Thanks, Mary. You've even got new seat covers. That's the top. It sags a little. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Now, come on, Dennis, Mary. Hop in. Go ahead, Rochester. Start the car. Yes, sir. <laughs> Rochester, why is the motor spitting like that? We can't stand each other. <laughs> oh, stop. Try it again. Yes, sir. There we are. The motor was just cold. Uh-oh. What's the matter, Rochester? I forgot to bring the sandwiches. Well, it's too late now. Maybe after the game we can stop and get something to eat. Okay, Jack, but this time let's go to a restaurant instead of a drive-in. Well, don't you like drive-ins, Mary? Sure, but the last time Jack drove into one, the girl put the tray on the door and the car turned over. <laughs> it did not. Now, come on, kids, let's enjoy the ride. By the way, Dennis, what are you going to sing on the program this week? Oh, it's called All My Love. Would you like to hear me sing it? Sure, Dennis, that would be nice while we're driving along. Now, go ahead. Go ahead and sing. And wait a minute. Mary, Mary, did you drop something? Then what are you bending over for? I'm hiding till we pass the May Company. <laughs> well, well, go ahead and sing, Dennis. Go ahead. Oh, my love. 
That was very good, Dennis, especially the finish. I never knew you could hit such a high note. Neither did I. When I came to it, the spring in the seat broke through. <laughs> as long as you hit it, that's all it... Mary, you can get up now. We passed the May Company. I'm ducking for the one on Crenshaw. <laughs> we passed that one, too. Oh, Rochester, we're getting closer to the Coliseum. You better start looking for a place to park. Uh, there's a parking lot, 25 cents. Yeah. There's one, 50 cents. Keep driving, Rochester. Uh, but, Jack, the lots close to the Coliseum charge $2 for parking. Well, it's worth it. Look at all the walking it saves. If you want convenience, you've got to pay for it. Rochester, drive into this lot. The $2 one? Yes. Come on, kid. Oh, here comes the attendant. Oh, hello, Mr. Benny. Hello, Joe. How's business? Very good. I'll bring the money over to your house tonight. <laughs> good. Come on, kid. Uh, Jack, do you own... Come on, come on. We'll be late for the game. Dennis, don't lag behind. Oh, I'm coming. She with a lot of people going to the game. Jack, maybe you ought to give Dennis his ticket. He may get lost in the crowd. No, he won't get lost. I've been holding his hand ever since we left the parking lot. How can you be holding Dennis's hand? He's on the other side of me. Well, I've been holding... Oh, oh, pardon me, madam. Oh, that's all right. I rather enjoyed it. <laughs> thank you, thank you. Are you going to see the football game? Oh, yes. My boy is playing today. Oh, really? What does he play? The tuba. <laughs> The tuba? Oh, oh, he's in the band. Yes. Maybe you've heard of him. Big Mouth McDonald. <laughs> oh, well, I'll, I'll watch for him at the half. You can't miss him. On low notes, he drools a little. <laughs> I'll find him. Goodbye. Come on, kids, let's hurry. We don't want to miss... We don't want to miss the kickoff. Say, Mary, these seats aren't bad, are they? No, they're fine. Can you see all right, Dennis? Dennis. Now, where is Dennis? Attention, please. Will Mr. Jack Benny please report to the lost and found department? <laughs> I will not. Let him stay there. The last time I take that kid any place. Every time we go, we t I always have that problem. Jack, look. They're getting ready to start the game. Yeah. The teams are lining up. Attention, please. Mr. Benny. Will you please come to the lost and found department? He's driving us nuts. Jack, go get Dennis. I'm not going to leave now. Here comes the kickoff. <whistles> Mary! Mary, look at that ball go. What a kick. It's going uh, way Sorry away. to bother you, fella, but you're sitting in my seat. Huh? That seat belongs to me. Would you mind moving? Well, you must be mistaken. My ticket says row 72, seat 4. And this is it. Yeah, well, that's what my ticket says. So if you don't get out of the seat, I'll sit on your lap. Look, mister. Uh, come on, come on. Get out of the seat or I'll punch you right in the nose. Oh, yeah? Mary, please. <laughs> I'll handle this. Oh, you will, huh? Mister, let go of my lapel. You don't have to get that excited. Now, wait a minute. I'm sure the usher can straighten it out. Oh, there's one. Oh, usher. Usher. <laughs> That's all I need. Look, usher, I have a ticket for row 72, seat 4, and this man has a ticket for the same seat. How did that happen? I don't know, but won't it be cozy? <laughs> Never mind that. What are you going to do about it? Well, if you like, you can sit in seat six, row 12, on the 50-yard line. Oh, is that seat bacon? It ought to be. It's in the Rose Bowl. <laughs> Stop being so smart. You are, without a doubt, the most stupid, inefficient, blundering... When you say that, smile. Why? We're on television. <laughs> Well, that's the last straw. I've got a good mind to You take... lay a hand on me and I'll pull the cork out of your oval tee. <laughs> oh, get out of here. 
Mary, where's that other man? He's gone. Good. Come on, we want a touchdown. We want a touchdown. Jack, stop yelling. It's time out. Oh. <laughs> Jack, look. The cheering section is getting up. Oh, yes. They're rooting for both teams. That they like for all American full pack, we'll vote for Lucky Strike. Be happy, go lucky, be happy, go lucky, strike, be happy, go lucky, go lucky, strike today. Hey, Mary. Mary, Don Wilson must have had something to do with that. Yeah. Jack! Jack, they're starting to play again. Yeah. All right, get your hot dog. Get your red hot here. Hot dog. Mary, you want a hot dog? No, thanks. Oh, I'll have one of them, mister. Yes, sir. One hot dog coming up. Would you like relish? Relish, yes. Chopped onion? Uh-huh. Mayonnaise? Yes, yes. Chili sauce? Yes. You'll have to get them someplace else. All I got is mustard. <laughs> Just give me the hot dog. UCLA's got the ball. Yeah, look at that Marletsky move. Wow, what a tackle they threw on. Jack, Jack, look, he's still lying there. Must have knocked the wind out of him. Get up, get up. The grass is staining your jersey. <laughs> Attaboy. Attention, Mr. Benny. Please, please come and get him. <laughs> you can't do this, Dodge. How many Irish songs can we listen to? <laughs> Jack, you better go and get Dennis. Oh, all right. Pardon me. Pardon me. Excuse me. Excuse me. Peanuts, popcorn, get your hot buttered popcorn here. Hello, Sonny. Hello, Mr. Benny. We're doing great. <laughs> Good. If, uh, if you get stuck with any, cry a little. <laughs> I'll see you later. Let's see. Let's see. Where's the lost and found apartment? I'll ask this fella here. Oh, pardon me, mister. Can you tell me where the lost and found apartment is? Huh? No, I'm a stranger here. Well, I... I know... Wait a minute. I've seen you before. What's your name? Stavoni. John L. C. Stavoni. Well, Mr. Savoni, don't you remember me? No. Nope. But you must. Remember one day you stopped me on the street about a year ago, asked me for a dime for a cup of coffee, and I gave you 50 cents. Holy smoke, is Jack Berry? <laughs> <laughs> well, I thought maybe you'd forgotten me. Oh, no. I tell all my fraternity brothers that you're my friend. Fraternity? Mr. Savoni, for a college man, what's happened to you? I'm a poor little man Now look, look. Look, Mr. Savoni. You're my pal. You can call me John. Well, thank you. Now, John, you're always short of money. How did you manage to get into the Coliseum? Well, I tell you how it happened in a way. I was walking down the street. I wasn't doing anything. Just walking down the street. 
I didn't feel like doing anything. <laughs> just walking down the street. And the fellow comes up to me and says, Hey, you. I said, who? He said, you. I said, me? He said, yeah. <laughs> I said, what do you want? He said, you want to buy a ticket to the football game? I said, how much you want for the football ticket? He said, three bucks. So I gave him the three bucks and I came to the football game. But look at you're always broke. Where'd you get the three dollars to buy this ticket? While we were standing there talking, it got kind of chilly. So I put my hand in his pocket. <laughs> well, at least you gave the man his money back. Did you take anything else? No, but he gave me his card. Card? Let me see it. Hmm. J. Edgar Hoover. <laughs> J. Edgar Hoover? Yeah. He made me so nervous. <laughs> Look, Mr. Mr. Savoni, why don't you get some ambition? Go out and find yourself a job. Settle down. Get married. Oh, I was married once. But my wife threw me out. Well, why would she do a thing like that? I don't know. I was just hanging around the house. I wasn't doing anything. I see what you mean, yeah. So long, Mr. Saboni. So long. <laughs> Now, let's see. I wonder oh, where... Oh, Jack, Jack. Huh? Did you find Dennis? No, and I'm not going to bother. Come on, let's go back to our seat. What seat? The game is over. It is? What was the score? 39 to nothing. 39? Oh, isn't that cute? I'll bet they did that just for me. <laughs> Come on, Mary, let's go home. We'll be back in just a moment. But first, let's take a tour through an art gallery. Be happy, go lucky. Be happy, go lucky. Be happy, go lucky. Go lucky, go lucky today. Now here's a picture of a pack of rich or lucky strikes. It makes you think of smoking joy and mildness people like. I'm sure I know the reason why the Mona Lisa smiled. She just discovered Lucky Strike, the smoke that's rich and mild. Be happy, go lucky, be happy, go lucky strike, be happy, go lucky, go lucky strike today. Yes, be happy, go lucky. Enjoy perfect mildness and rich taste. A happy blending you always get in one great cigarette, Lucky Strike. Puff by puff, you'll always find Luckies are milder. In fact, scientific tests confirmed by three independent consulting laboratories prove Lucky Strike is milder than any other principal brand. And puff by puff, you'll always enjoy the full, rich taste of truly fine tobacco because LSMFT, Lucky Strike means fine tobacco. So next time, try a carton of Lucky Strike and be happy. Go Lucky! Be happy, go lucky, be happy, go lucky, strike, be happy, go lucky, go lucky, strike today. We're a little late. Good night, folks. Be sure to hear Dennis Day in the day in the life of Dennis Day. Next week, Amos and Andy will be our special guests. John L. C. Savoni was played by Frankie Fontaine. Stay tuned for the Amos and Andy show, which follows immediately. This is CBS, the Columbia Broadcasting System.